and you see this periodic array, this motif, that's what causes the trapping of the light. A University of Toronto researcher is being recognized for groundbreaking work that has the potential to redefine our energy landscape. Professor Sajeev John has won the Gerhard Herzberg Canada Gold Medal for Science and Engineering, Canada's top award in the sector, for research on the localization of light and development of photonic band gap materials. In a nutshell, the laboratory team here at the university can literally confine light particles into tiny chips in hopes that we can put them to good use later. A new class of materials known as photonic crystals. And photonic crystals have this remarkable property of being able to trap light and guide it on a microscopic scale. Can you explain the difference between what happens to light when it hits that film versus say what happens to light when it hits the wall? Okay, the light that hits the wall usually just bounces out for the most part. It scatters, uh, it doesn't absorb it. In the case of silicon, we want the light to enter the silicon and bounce around inside and do a little dance for a long enough time so that we can absorb it. He says the material is much lighter and more efficient compared to what's in today's solar panels. It's so thin, light and flexible that we could place it on building surfaces, on automobiles, maybe even on clothing. Can you show me what this machine here behind you does? Yeah, this is a, a machine that deposits uh, hydrogenated amorphous silicon onto the surface of a, a solar cell. So the reason it's glowing pink is because it's hydrogen plasma? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, this is uh, called a cluster tool, which does something called plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition. So this is a uh, sputtering tool for depositing metals, contacts onto the solar cells. So this is where they test whether the silicon that has been made is of the right quality. Here you're actually seeing some microscopic images of the structures that have been made. Now this will be the fourth consecutive time a U of T researcher has won the Gerhard Herzberg Canada Gold Medal for Science and Engineering. On top of his work being recognized, John is also receiving up to a million dollars over five years to fund his research. At the University of Toronto, David Zura, City News.